this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now before we get started with today's free forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free forex training, free forex training videos and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending you a lot more goodies to help you with your forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. So next on our list is to have a predefined trading plan. Okay, let's talk about some of the keys to success to, to having a predefined trading plan. Now before we get into that, underneath this video, there is a little worksheet on that you can put together your own trading plan. And I highly suggest you fill that out and stick to your plan and sign it because you make, are making a commitment to yourself that you're going to stick to a, a game plan. Um, so number one in the game plan is talking about how much are you going to risk, risk per trade. Okay? How long do I stick to this? In other words, if, if you commit that you're going to risk... 1% per trade, are you going to stick with that for the next 90 days? Because you can always adjust your risk parameters. Okay, If, if you see that you're trading extremely well over a 90 day period and, you, and you've been risking 1%, maybe it's time after that to adjust your plan and, and bump it to 1.5%. But once you create your plan, you stick to your plan. So if you commit to 90 days at 1% risk, then you commit to 90 days at 1% risk. Okay. Um, you're also going to make a commitment that you are never, 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 never going to move your stops further from your open. But you will move them closer to your open. Now, here's what I mean by that. Let's say we have a trade with a 100 pip stop. And this happens all the time, folks. In fact, I, we, my customer service team just got an email from a customer a few days ago who, somebody who bought the pound right where they should have sold it. Right now, the pound is 400 pips down. They had a decent stop loss in the first place but what happens as this trade started dropping they didn't want to get stopped out so they kept moving their stop down further and stop down further and stop down further in hopes that the trade would go back up and they wouldn't lose money folks that's, that's gambling you're taking too much risk that plan never works you calculate each trade you know how much you're willing to, to lose and you take the emotions out if this trade gets stopped, next. It was nothing but a transaction. Period. No emotions involved. It was a transaction. So you once you set your stop and you've followed a game plan, so you, you have the exact amount of lots of lots determined and you are in that trade, you do not move your stop further from your open. That just adds more risk to the trade. But we're gonna show you a little bit later here that you actually are gonna move your close your stop closer to your open. So in other words, if the customer Let's say he bought the pound at 1.6, okay? 1.6000, and he had a 100 pip stop loss at 1.59000. Now, once that trade started going up, let's say to 1.6100, he is, oh, we're going to show you how to manage the trades here in a little bit, but we're going to close part of your positions, okay, to get some profits now. At that point, you would move your stop loss to your open price or even higher. Why would you do that? Because if the trade comes against you at that point and decides to drop down again, you've already locked in your profits and you've locked out any risk of loss on the trade. Your number one goal is to remove the risk from the trade as fast as possible by removing the stop and not by deleting the stop, but by moving the stop so that it, even if you were stopped out, you'd be stopped out in profit. Okay, So you're never going to move your stops further, but as you're managing the trade in profit, you're going to continue to move... Um, your trade closer and beyond your open to lock in profits. And this next step is, and this is something I don't see a lot of people doing, but you're going to have a predefined lot size for uh, your trades in advance. So you already have a game plan um, on your trades. So let, I'll talk about that in a little bit, and we'll show you how to put that together. In fact, there's going to be a worksheet, a little thing that you can fill out and print off and stick to your computer uh, underneath this video, a little link that will show you um, that you can use to actually fill that out and so you have your lot sizes predetermined. 
folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex traded alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.